All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out my channel. So what I want to get into today is get rid of the clothes you do not wear. Get them out, all right? If you watch any of my videos, listen to my podcast, I'm always trying to help guys uh, mainly live an extraordinary life affordably, at least at this point in time in their life. I don't care if they're uh, trying to be a multimillionaire or they're not. I don't care what budget they're on. I just want them to understand that there are ways to really live a great life, be able to look a certain way, and not have to spend necessarily tons and tons of money. Um, if you got tons and tons of money, you could do whatever the hell you want to do. God bless you. But a lot of people don't. So um, what I want to get into today regarding getting rid of your clothes is maybe making some money off your clothes. And it, first, I'm going to say it's not easy to sell used men's clothes, okay? Also, I should say first is a lot of times I'm talking about going to consignment, resale, Goodwill stores sometimes to buy clothes, used or new. You know, it's on if you want to. I think it's a great place. I've even done a lot of videos at some of my favorite resale consignment stores in North America, including Canada. You can check it out on my YouTube. One of them's called Well Suited. There's what did I do? At least three videos, maybe two in Arizona, one Scottsdale, Phoenix, one in Encinitas where I used to live uh, nearby in Carlsbad. And I've done some other uh, for men and women, actually, as well. Um, so, you know, I really think depending on, you know, what you want to wear, I wouldn't necessarily be buying you shoes. I don't like that or pants or shorts. But a lot of stores, resale consignment stores also you got to realize they have a lot of new stuff there as well, all right? And you can find a lot of great deals online, you know. I just, you can go to outlet malls. Just try to find clothes that are on sale, not, you know, for the most part, a lot of times pay full boat. You can if you want. God bless. But I would definitely say, you know, or I say a lot of clothes are disposable. What you're wearing now, you probably may or may not, but probably not be wearing a few years down the line unless it's exquisite also, you got to realize you may gain or lose weight. I talk about it all the time. So who knows what you'll fit in. So you may buy, say, even if you had tailor-made suits made when you're 25 years old or 30, five years down the road, you gain 20, 30 pounds. I mean, you can have them retailored, but my point being is they're not going to look the same. So same with accessories. I, I look at all that stuff. I usually give a lot of that stuff away to my close family members and friends and colleagues, colleagues. So, um, but back to you in your closet, you know, what I think a lot of people don't realize, especially men is you can take your clothes to places, even like Plato's closet. You may be able to make some money off your clothes. If you don't wear your clothes, you know, and say even three to six months. Now I get, maybe there's certain clothes. If you live in a place where you got four different seasons, of course, I'm not going to tell you to throw your winter coat out. If you're in summer, I know you're not using your winter coat, but eventually if you do use it. You don't want to lose it. But if there are clothes that you are not wearing for some reason or another, get rid of them. Either, like I said, sell them, donate them, get, or what was the other one? Yeah. Or give them to your friends or family members, right? They can probably use them sometimes. I usually give most of mine away. And I think if you're looking to especially build up your wardrobe, you know, and start getting new pieces, we're always very cluttered our closets with a lot of stuff, again, you're not wearing. A lot of times you don't even know what you have and what you don't have after a certain amount of time. Am I wrong? And this goes for shoes as well. If it's time to toss that out, get it out. And, you know, maybe you don't have enough money right now, say, to buy newer clothes. And I think this happens with a lot of people, so they don't want to throw away their old clothes. Or they keep thinking, well, maybe I'll go back and wear that. If you're not wearing it, you're most likely not wearing it. Again, try to sell it. Make some money off it. Or, again, just get it out out, I think. Another thing too is a lot of people, again, hang on the clothes that are just too old. They looked ragged out. All right. Same with shoes, even certain types of accessories. There does come a point in time. You got to let things go. Now you may be like, nope, I love these pair of shoes. I'm keeping them. Or I love that t-shirt. I don't care if it's got three stains on it. I don't care if it's ripped. Hey, you can do whatever the hell you want to do. But I'm just telling you a lot of people you know, and again, you, you may not even care what they think, but you may be going to different places. It could be work, could be out with your friends, could be to galas, weddings, christenings, baptisms, whatever you go to, and you're wearing clothes that are either really outdated or just look bad. I'm not somebody who's caught up in trends. 
by any means. And I love actually mixing something new with vintage. That's kind of my thing. But, and I brought this up with ties. Sometimes you just, if, if you want to look out of style or whack, like you're like, you know, and you see this with a lot of guys with suits. Maybe you haven't, but either the suit's too big, too small, um, just outdated. And again, you can pull off vintage clothes if, you know what, you got to, for one, be in shape and you got to really have some cool accessories. You just got to have a style about yourself. And a lot of people don't have that to pull it off. Not saying you do or don't, but I don't, I can't explain it any better than that. <clears throat> Excuse me. You really got to look at your clothes. It's a part of who you are. And again, if you have clothes that are too old or outdated or just decrepit or getting dry rotted or you got to really look at that stuff and you know figure out a way to get new clothes maybe even better clothes but that doesn't mean you have to spend more money on clothes and that's what I'm trying to tell you is sometimes just getting rid of your closet and I've done videos on this and just limiting it down to just some unique pieces I talk about this on a lot of my videos just a couple white dress shirts for to wear wherever. One's plain button, one's a cuff link. Um, you know, starting with a couple, you know, a pair of pants, dark black, dark blue, a dark blue suit, just a couple pairs of shoes, just less pieces, right? And decent, good looking pieces, clothing that fits you. And if it doesn't fit you, have it tailored. Spend a little money there. But it's, you just, also got to realize a lot of clothes you probably have if you're watching any of my videos go try them on a lot may not fit you correctly you may not even realize that you're like oh my god I never realized you know the, the shoulder for instance it's, it's way down here and I discussed this or the neck's too tight or too loose or it's way too baggy on the you know uh, the bottom or uh, pay attention even when you sit down is it showing your stomach is it does it come up on you is it, same with pants are you bending over is the crack of your ass out you probably have a lot of clothes in your closet right now that you just don't fit in anymore. You may have gained or lost weight. You may have had clothes in there for, I don't know, one year, five years, 10 years. I don't know. I go in some of my buddies' closets when I'm in Chicago or California or even the East Coast. It's, they're like, go through some shit with me. I'm looking at this stuff. I'm like, when, when it, you got 30 coats here. <laughs> like, I'm not exaggerating. They only have 15 different hoodies. I'm like, how many of these you wear? It looks like you only wear, you know, these two or three, the same foot. You know, he's like, yeah, those are the ones I love. Well, I'm not saying you have to get rid of the other ones, but if, if this is just taking up too much space or you don't even want it anymore, you're not going to wear it. What the hell are you doing with it? And a lot of times when we buy something at one time or another in our life, it seems cool. Maybe five years on the road, it ain't too cool anymore. Okay. I think that happens with a lot of, I can't say sportswear, but a lot of guys buy Certain jerseys, let's say, with certain, you know, players that they like uh, or sportswear of some sort for, you know, for athletes and stuff. And they change teams and all this stuff. Or they may even be, uh, they may be a, been a fan of that team and not as much anymore. I'm not saying they're a flip-flopper, but it could be whatever. Uh, a team like even arena football or something, they may not even exist anymore. And <laughs> you still got, and I see this type of stuff. Again, if you're not wearing it, get rid of it. So, uh, and make some money, man. Don't sell yourself short. You can, I got to get rid of some stuff too, truthfully. But like I said, I get, I go through these phases where I give it away and I love it. And I try to keep my clothes as mint as possible. And then a lot of my friends and even family members or people I know, they will wear them. The thing with me though, is I'm kind of on the heavier side. So it doesn't fit as many people. I, if I was probably like a large, let's say for instance, a medium or large or somewhere in there, it seems like it would be better. But I definitely like giving my clothes away. And if you, you're going to feel really good if you start sharing something. I but like, I just love giving things away a lot of times to, again, not everybody in the world. I don't know everybody. Okay. Family members, friends, colleagues. I like giving stuff away and I like seeing them wear it. I like seeing them appreciate that. And what's interesting about me, I'll take other people's clothes. I haven't in a long time, but if I see something, I did it with my father a couple years ago. We had to go to a, a ball, and I took his sport coat. I couldn't believe I fit in it. it. It dwarfs him, but it fit me, and I liked it. It had this certain style to it. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with borrowing other people's clothes. And I think that's something that scares people. Just give it back. 
if I'm going to just wrap it up with this, I used to collect a lot of clothes and, and high end brands too, Versace, Armani, all of them. We used to go out in my early twenties cause I had a lot of the nicest clothes and my friends would borrow them. Tons of them. We would take photos. It'd be four of us and it would be like three of them were my sport coats. Three of the shirts were mine. Um, it was funny. It was hilarious. I look back at it, even some of the jewelry and, uh, it was fun. And you know, it's, I would also, what I was going to say is I would sometimes see photos and be like, whoa, what the, who, I don't remember that. Oh, I borrowed that jacket from that guy. Or, oh my goodness, I don't remember wearing that turtleneck, that color. Oh, that was his. Have some fun with it. Clothes are meant to be worn. Have fun. And uh, even when I go to Chicago, sometimes I'm a huge, you know, I love the Chicago Bears. And my family members and all them, they have all tickets, front row tickets. Uh, and my other family members too, if I go to a Cubs, I have my own clothes. But a lot of times they'll have big clothes, like big coats I could take to the games if we go. Or sit in certain types of hats and all that. So, again, just have some fun with clothes. Uh, you know, either way, but get rid of that old crap. I'm telling you right now, it's going to feel better too. You also may need the storage or you may need the space. You get rid of a lot of that stuff in your closet. All of a sudden, it just opens up. And go through your closet from top to bottom is what I should say. Go through every shirt. Go through all your whatever it is. Your, you know, if you got stuff on top, on the bottom, whatever it is, because you could probably clear that thing out like it's nobody's business and you're going to like that. And it also will clear your mind out to say, you know what, what am I missing here? Because a lot of times we think we have a lot of things till we go to look for it. And then we're like, oh my God, I don't have a, a white, say for instance, say you want a t-shirt and your, your other one got ruined or you threw it away and then you need a t-shirt or you're just looking for just a nice white t-shirt. Like, wow, I, okay, I need one. You forget you forget this time when you go through your closet, kind of make it take some notes. Wow. I need this type of shirt. Wow. I'm out of, you know, dress pants. Oh, I want to get a white pair of jeans. Oh, I need a different type of shoe. I need a boot uh, instead of a shoe because I'm going to be going to, you know, the East coast, whatever the case may be, you could kind of see what you have and don't have. So I'll just wrap it up with that. All right. If you get a chance, uh, check out my podcast, uh, the rich Shalenza show. Um, what else? I'm on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You get a chance also subscribe. All right. Take care and I wish you nothing but the best.